<laughs> I was just realizing we're not even reading this, but the Holy Spirit is speaking. So praise, praise Christ. Um, so he says he will, he will give us what we will, what we need within the hour. You know, he, he says not to worry about a script or anything, um, that he will whisper in their ear what we're going to say. So we don't prepare any long teaching. The Holy Spirit teaches us, right? The Holy Spirit is teaching right now, and we share each, with each other what he has taught us, and it's good news that he has taught us um, that he is the rock, and um, you need to be in him. Now, Moses hit the rock. Now, we're supposed to speak to the rock. Right now, the, the people who are in the body of Christ, the Lord is speaking to the body of Christ right now. Praise his holy name. The heavenly host, the Lord of hosts, is speaking to us right now so that we have reassurance of our faith, so that we know that he has already cleaned us by the blood of the Lamb, and his body is clean. Those who come and feast with us and really have no, uh, they're not holy unto God because they have not received the love of the truth. They are not born again of living waters, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, nor are they filled with the fire, the power on high. They have the word, and so they're a fire, but that fire may burn up, burn themselves up if they don't have the living waters. You know, they're, they're, a, they're a lamp, they, they have a light, um, but you need the power on high from God and you need to be born again. Otherwise, you're not in the vine. You know, he says that he will save his people. And maybe this is how he's saving his people, speaking to them, so that they would know that they need to believe the Messiah. It says, anyone who does not listen to the Messiah is cut off for burning. And you have to go through and buy gold during the tribulation, the great tribulation, not the tribulation we're going through now, but Armageddon. And I sure hope that's not you um, who keeps sending me messages of all these scriptures from the Tanakh, which is a wicked, evil book of man's interpretations, not God's. Ugh. I, they just, it's like talking to a wall. They have a wall up between them and God. They have not, see, Jesus tore down the veil. They still have a veil. God's removing the veil right now. Many of his people have come to the knowledge of truth, and I've met a few who have received the word that Christ is speaking to them, and they were proclaimed Jews. Um, so I pray that the Lord would continue to feed them living waters, that they would be saved, that they would confess the blood of Christ is for the mission, that he is the Lamb of God, that God provided the Lamb, just like he provided the Lamb for um, Isaac. You know, he said, don't worry, you don't have to kill your son. I'm providing one, my son, who was caught in a thicket. <laughs> Jesus was caught with thorns on his head. That's like we talked about in the last video about the Feast of Dedication. You know, the Greeks defiling the body, the temple, catching them in a snare. And the Lord, praise Jesus, um, the Lord always had a plan from the beginning. He always has plans. He is so smart. I mean, you should know how smart he is. Sorry for my technology problem. My battery is running out. So the wages of sin is death. And everybody knows that from Adam and Eve's story. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The Lord is my rock, it says right here, and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Jesus gave me a horn brothers and sisters, he showed me that I, that I was on this, this uh, horse and it represented Israel 
and he was the line of the tribe of Judah, and the two of us were one. <laughs> He's the lawgiver. <laughs> As you read the rest of Psalm 18, you find references after references, reference to God being the rock, the refuge, setting his people on high, on high places, leaping over walls. So we are not, we don't have a wall. You know, the enemy wants to put a wall up. They want you to be in a wall worshiping an antichrist. <laughs> don't fall for it. You know, there's no, in his kingdom, he tears down walls. Um, and the only wall that he does have up, which I agree with, is the wall to keep out the defi- those things that defile. Sorcerers, those who loveth and maketh a lie. Read Revelation. Those who loveth and maketh a lie. The Greeks, the Sanhedrins, the uh, Talmud followers, the Tanakh followers, they are defiling God's people. And they think they're doing God a service. They're not. They're self-worshipping and thinking themselves to have be able to rule over their brethren. No, they are in trouble. God's going to give them a spanking. Anyways, so his people uh, um, on high places leaping over walls. Petra is located next to the city of Wadi. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Wadi Musa, which means the Valley of Moses. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus, the Jews fled by Moses out of Egypt in the Old Testament the same way that the Jews in the tribulation will flee to Petra. Well, guys, the Lord showed me we were in Egypt. Just look at your dollar bill, the pyramids on there. In Isaiah, it says in the end days that we would be um, enslaved again. I've, I've talked about this. And just as God supernaturally parted the Red Sea, there's the Red Blood Sea. We are a sea of people and the blood of Christ has to be in you to have a good book of life in the Lamb's book of life, uh, removing all the sin as far as the east is from the west, the, his blood's for the remission of the sins, rerouting all alien hosts, any demons, any false prophets, any fallen angels who have not returned to their first love. Um, there's that word red again. God will supernaturally keep the Jews safe and protected in Petra. So those who have to go through the the um, fire, because they have to go buy gold because they did not receive the fire, the Pentecost, uh, fiery tongues, which is the holy power from high to understand these things. They will have to go through more refining, unfortunately, and possibly um, die um, a martyr's death. Um, some Christians are dying a martyr's death, uh, which, is, which is good. I'm sure that God had um, has comforted them and they are with him now. Petra is at the entrance um, to the land of Edom. Now God's army destroyed Edom and, e and now the prophet Daniel um, um, says that um, when the Antichrist appears that, that he will um, devour all the areas around Israel except for Edom um, where Petra is. Now it says that um, he slew of Edom 10,000. So God slew. So he subdued. So Joktil is means the blessedness of God. So that place is now the blessedness of God. And he subdued uh, the Edomites. Okay, God subdued them and took that place, right? So subdued, it means, Joktil means subdued by God. Praise Jesus. This is such great information. Um, so he basically took over that place and the chief of the children of Ammon. In Isaiah 16, we see the Lord's outcasts hiding in the land of Moab right before the return. he returns at the end of the tribulation to set up his thousand-year reign. Now, the Lord has shown me that um, no flesh and blood enters into the kingdom. And he's already reigning in, in heaven, the Lord in heaven. And when he comes, he comes to bring us to himself, to his kingdom that he set up in another place. So there's lots to know. <laughs> it's so exciting. Send ye the lamb. That's the lamb of God, Jesus Christ. The lambs we must be written in the lamb's book of life. Leviticus says life is in the blood and Jesus Christ's blood is holy and righteous. Cain had a blood record of slewing Abel. 
Everyone has a blood record. If you're doing witchcraft magic, God is against all witches, all sorcerers, all liars, deceivers, fornicating with other spirits, letting dead the dead come in your body. That's a fornication, letting unclean spirits come in your body. Um, but the flesh is dead for the cause of sin. And if you're in the Lamb slain and risen with Christ, you're in the Lord in heaven. You're seated in heavenly places in the secret place of the Most High. In the rock, Slaw Petra. It's way too good for us, but we receive it. Anyways, in Isaiah 16, we see the Lord's outcast hiding in that place. Now, my battery is going dead, so I'm going to have to do one more video. I'm going to have to stop this, charge up come back and finish this whole series it's exciting because he's speaking to us as we're going so he he speaks to us about romans 11 which is israel and the gentiles grafted into israel one family tree of god which is the lord jesus the lord of hosts and he is the rock of the fortress the heavenly host is the lord of hosts jesus christ those who have the light in them the indwelling filling the fallen ones and the cherub, the Lucifer, Lucifer, they will have their lamps removed, lampstands removed if they do not return. They will lose all of their gifts. And, be, and we know that the false prophet and the beast get bound and cast into the lake, lake of fire forever. So hopefully you're not speaking with falsehoods because if you are, you have the wine of the asps dragon tongue. That's what he says. So I'm going to stop this. I love you all in Christ who are born again believers. Those of you who are not born again, you're not even a brother or brethren yet. Maybe you will believe in Christ one day and be a brethren. I don't know. Lord willing, you will.